Previously on Desperate Moral Wives. I'm discussing having children with Caius Cassades. Dagoth Ur welcomes you, Nerevar, my old friend. Fight for your lover, Dagoth. Defend me. Hormar! Hey, religious zealots. Hold on, Nakuma. Nakuma, I'm gonna need you to relax. We're in the middle of something huge. I think we should take on Vivek. You've earned a death warrant for your crimes, outlaw? I shall neither hoard nor steal nor encumber myself with profitless treasures. <laughs> Alright, time to make good on that prayer. Facing defeat at the hands of a god. Alongside an existing death warrant, our heroes look to find aid via the most influential and respected man in Vardenfell. Their journey continues in the town of Saran. God, it feels good to be back. It feels so good to be back. And what other place to look for people in the land of Morrowind with power and influence other than Morrowind's very own strip club? Nakuma, uh, you might want to shield your eyes. It gets a little bit adult. Uh, you know, it's, it's about time you learn some things about how the world works. Hello. Hmm. You're not here to start trouble, are you? Oh god, this is not... Smell. Smell? Are you talking about me? Do I smell? Does Nakuma smell? She might have actually... I might have to actually change her. Oh, this is not an appropriate place to change a baby's diapers. <laughs> Just laying my baby down next to Skuma and... Oh. I'm working on it, okay? When you do your dancing and... I'm gonna change my baby, okay? Oh, she's not hungry. Doesn't need to burp. She doesn't even need to be changed. I don't know what they're complaining about. Everyone here is like approaching me. I, I feel famous. Although, granted, Caius, Dagoth, we're famous for all of the wrong reasons. I've heard ah, of your friend. How you does the day now. greet you? Derek, shut up. I need to talk to my friend Todd Howard here. Todd, listen, man. We have a dangerous mission. And where we go, we are going to need your help. I know you. You're Chad Thunder. I keep forgetting that that's my name. It's been so long since I've actually played on this series. Oh, welcome to the land of Morrowind. Todd Howard, what do you have for sale? I figured. I, I figured as much that he would be selling Skyrim. At least they're throwable and he has a weapon. So can we romance him? We can. Well, Todd Howard, if this works, you are going to join on an epic adventure to go find the most influential man in all of Morrowind. But you are already with someone. Uh, Dagoth, I'm gonna have to cut things off with you, Dagoth. I, we need Todd Howard to help us out. Your romance is over, so you're single right now. Oh, there we go. Oh, welcome to the family, Todd, Caius, Dagoth. We got a, we've got a long way to go, and you guys are gonna need to figure it out and get along. We have to go to a place I've never actually been before. I've never been to the Corpusarium in this game, or Tel Fur is where we need to go. And I know it's somewhere over here, so we might as well just start heading in that direction. And if I need outside sources to help me get there, then we'll do so. But I know that it's a critical part of the story in Morrowind. I've never actually beaten the game yet. So, uh, gentlemen, buckle up. If we run into any trouble, I think you are more than capable of handling yourselves. And Todd, don't be selling them Skyrim, okay? They've dealt with enough bullshit the last few months. Oh, here we go. All right, we're already... Oh, ow, ow. Defend me! Holy shit, Todd. Did you just one-hit him? Todd's just looking back and forth between the two of them like, uh... <laughs> what am I doing here? Todd, yep, you are now in a romantic square. It's not a triangle anymore, it's just a square of your own creations. Once again, I have to give a shout out to DDM Link, our channel modder, for the legend that he is helping us make Todd Howard romanceable. There's also a couple of other surprise characters on the way that I'm not gonna tell you about until they appear. Although if you saw the thumbnail for this video, I think it's pretty clear who we are going after. Dagoth, make sure you keep them all in line. It's like they're fighting for first position. They each want to be first in line. Caius and Todd Howard are in the background like, no, no, I, I get to be in front of Dagoth. No me, no, no. You know, if I zoom all the way out, it's like I'm playing as all four of them. It's like Command and Conquer or Age of Empires. Holy crap, he actually does look like Todd. I didn't look at him before close enough. He does look, he looks exactly like Todd Howard. Kuma, you doing all right back there? Yeah, Nakuma's okay. I mean, look at her face. She's so excited just to be on an adventure. Yeah, I would think a daughter raised by this family of individuals would probably be the most powerful being in Elder Scrolls history. We're just going to cut through everything at this point. 
Aside from any large bosses, I think every fight's gonna be pretty easy. Although the, the guards, when they come in groups, can be pretty tough. <laughs> Once again, taking my daughter through a giant dust storm. <laughs> if you or a loved one has ever contracted mesothelioma, <laughs> please call this number. This whole section is like the one part of the map I've never really explored all that much. So I have a feeling it's gonna get really difficult. Todd, I'm a bit disappointed you've been using your sword though for most of the fights. I would have thought you'd be throwing those copies of Skyrim. I might just have to buy them off of him and start using them, even though my marksman skill is painfully low. I just think it'd be funny to use them. All right, it looks like this is our way down. Let's hop on down here. Oh, wait, we got to make sure to pet the guar. Everyone get over here. This is a scrib hating channel, but we respect guar. Oh, wait, uh, wait, I thought you were going to be nice. Oh, I don't want to hurt the guar. They're usually so cute. Although if you get close to them, they kill them, kill them all from now on. They're ugly. They're not cute anymore. Fucking worms. Why are we still fighting worms? I thought we were better than this. Hey, Listen to me, guys. Not a single one of you is looking at me. Todd, you're looking at Caius. Caius, you're looking at Dagoth's ass. Dagoth, I don't know, I don't know what the hell you're looking at, but I need you guys to start taking this seriously. You should be offended that this game thinks worms are enough to take us out. God, you're not even paying attention. Todd is so enamored with Caius Cassades. <laughs> you know, when they were making this game, Todd Howard probably would get home from work super late most nights. Honey, it's three in the morning. What are you doing home right now? Uh, just had to put in some extra work on a character model. He's a critical character to the story. We, he's actually just been ogling Caius Cassades the whole time. You're being attacked by a cliff racer. Todd? There you go, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Todd can only take so much cliff racer bullshit before even he gets pissed. He's like, God damn it, why did we even put that in the game? What is that down there? That's an Argonian. Oh my gosh. Human contact. Well, humanoid contact. What do you even call an Argonian? It's, I mean, it's certainly not a human, but it's bipedal. It's got gills. What do you want? Just wanted to say hi. I brought my friends here. Clearly they want to say hi too. I know you. Chad Thundercock, the notorious outlaw. How does everybody know me? You live in the middle of nowhere. Let's see what you're made of. Quick, get him. Oh no, he's getting away. Oh, that was probably a bad idea. I don't know if they'll be able to catch up. Come on, come on, we almost got him. Where are these pages going? Wait, 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 what, what, what are these pages? Is it a trail? Where does it lead? Oh no, I'm gonna lose them all. They're all so much faster than me. Good work, guys, good work. Now, you are allowed to also fight the rat that's attacking you. You don't just have to chase down the Argonian. So he's got slave bracers on. Oh, he might have just been an escaped slave. If that's the case, then I feel bad. But what are these pages on the ground? A mystery for another time, guys. Can Dagother swim? Or does he just ignore it? <laughs> Dagother, he just ignores the water. He doesn't even swim. That's amazing. He just runs through it. I'm a god. You can't drown a god. Ben Sibarib Camp Odisha's Yurt. Oh, Jesus. Whoa, that scared the hell out of me. Okay, gentlemen, I need help. I don't know who this strange man is. Todd, did you actually just throw a copy of Skyrim? Todd, we've talked about this. Yes, keep doing that. Keep throwing copies of Skyrim at people. Because when your enemy is saying, there's no way he throws more copies at Skyrim of us. There's no way. The joke is old. The meme is dead. It's not happening anymore. Nope, more Skyrim. It's just all Skyrim. It's, it's only Skyrim. Holy shit, Dagoth, you really don't swim at all. I mean, luckily it doesn't phase him. Come on, Dagoth. <laughs> you got this. Okay, I've heard a lot about this place. Quite a few memes and characters here. I think this is where the last Dwemer guy is. Uh, I don't remember his name, but he's a big, large, fat man. This is where we need to be. Gentlemen, I hope you're prepared to meet your newest family member. If... Oh god, it's so hard to get inside with you guys. I can't take you anywhere. Wait, there's a treasure here? Hold on, who's this Divath? Div Divath? Divath Fire? I hope you can fly. You can't get up there unless you can fly or have potions. Okay, so I need a levitate potion to get up to this guy's tower. I want his treasures. Is Steve actually all the way up in the floating tower? If I have to use a levitate to get up to him, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. <laughs> Just because it's extra work. I've already worked so hard to get here. <gasps> we found him! Guys, get in here. There he is. There he is. You're an attractive woman. <laughs> he actually uses his lines. You're an attractive woman, he says. I know you. You're Chad. Why does everybody know about me? You live in the middle of nowhere. You live in a basement. Although, granted, you are Steve Harvey and you're very influential. Steve Harvey, there is nobody who I have had my eyes on more than you. I am going to dump Todd Howard so hard to be with you, Steve Harvey. Would you join our adventuring team? and help us plunder Divath, Fire, Fears, Treasure. You're mine. 
Oh, Todd is pissed. Wait, Todd, relax. Todd, you need to stay with the team. <laughs> Please. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Steve Harvey has officially joined the group. So now the legendary adventuring squad, Kais Cassades, Todd Howard, Dagath Ur, <laughs> and Steve Harvey, famous host of Family Feud. God, Todd Howard is in love with you though, Caius. Look at these two. He's enamored. Steve Harvey's just happy to be here. He's hanging out in the back, but Todd is, he's obsessed. <laughs> Guys is like, get this guy the fuck away from me. Guys is like, get the hell away from me. Nakuma, don't you love your family? Give him a good old look, Nakuma. Nothing like a healthy relationship. Okay. Now, gentlemen, we need to find a levitate spell and or potion, and we need to get to that tower. But how? I've never actually been here before. Let's check out the Corpusarium first. I've never been in there. God damn. This place is green. Who are you? I am here to warn you, do not harm the inmates. If you've come to plunder the dungeon, you must endure their attacks and take your chances with me. For his own amusement, Diviathfer permits thieves to test their skills by attempting to steal the treasures he keeps below in the Corpusarium. No so, way! Guys, we have a challenge presented for us right here. This is great. This is awesome news for our family. Nakuma, did you hear that? We can go fight a bunch of disease-carrying inmates. What a field trip. <laughs> Please tell me it's going to be another normal field trip. I think I am going to foster a relationship, though, with Steve Harvey. So let's hit on him a little bit. Right, let's give him a little bit of friendship. Let's just be, you know, talk about the weather. He likes when the weather is fine. Thank you. You're already giving me more than Caius ever gave me. Talk about books. I'll flirt with him. Calls me a saucy wench. Talk about my child. I'm touched by so much beauty. Do you hear that, Nakuma? You are my heart, and here are my eyes. What? Okay. Yeah, way to kill the vibe, Steve. All right. We have to fix Dagoth. <laughs> we'll be able to fix him, and then we continue our adventure. We can't move on without my Dagoth. Okay, I actually can't figure it out. So, gentlemen, this might be tough without Dagoth Ur, but we're gonna continue and see how it goes. Dagoth, we will come back for you. I promise. All right, honey? I can never leave you behind. But now I have Steve, and he's beautiful, and the host of a game show, and he makes way more fucking money than you, Dagoth. What do I have to be afraid of? I've got Todd Howard and Steve Harvey double teaming zombies. Oh, no way, we found the guy. I've never actually been in here. I've never found this guy before. Can we fight these guys? You're new here, aren't you? I take care of the corpus victims. Oh, well, why were they attacking me? <laughs> Was I just killing patients of a terrible disease? Jesus, man. Do not harm me or you'll be very sorry. I warn you. Come on, Todd, get him. Come on, we're robbing the place. This is ours. Oh, I'm hit. I'm hit. Oh, I'm hit. I'm hit hard. Nah, Nakuma, I need you to calm down, honey. Todd, quick, I need more Skyrim. Thank you. Poor guy, look at him. Oh my god, he's miserable looking. I can't believe we've done this. <laughs> okay, we'll go back. I don't want to actually kill this guy off, because maybe in the future, we do actually beat the game with this crew of characters. But let's go explore a little bit more. Where's this dungeon, though, that we're supposed to clear out? It's gotta be somewhere in here. <coughs> Nakuma, you realize this is bad timing? Can can one of you guys fucking change her? I, I guess what I'm confused about is when you are performing this heist that they keep hyping up, are those chests that I wasn't able to unlock, are those part of the heist? Nice. Caius in front. Todd right behind him. Steve Harvey on the side. Steve Harvey finishes him. I'm so proud of this community. You know what, Nakuma? If you don't stop crying, you know what? Fine, fine. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna change your diapers underwater. Alright, now quit your damn crying. All right, or you'll go for another dip. Although actually she's been on my back and I've swam multiple times in this episode. <laughs> so Nakuma's just had to learn how to hold her breath. I didn't even give her a warning. I just jumped right in. Okay, so all these chests are level 100. <laughs> Kaius wanna go for a swim? Everyone wanted to go for a swim. It's a pool party. Kaius can say it's Todd Howard, Steve Harvey, Chad Thundercock and Nakuma all at a pool party. This is great. It's about time we got to go on a casual adventure that wasn't us being chased by a million different guards. So that's the whole place. Actually, kind of underwhelming. I haven't had a journal entry in-game since when I found Keening. <laughs> so I've just been making my own dumb adventure the entire time. Good to see you again, Dagoth. I'm back. Oh no, where's Dagoth? You're completely stuck in the door, Dagoth? Come on, really? No, 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 that just ruined everything. Oh my god. Oh, this is not good. Now while we wait for him, let's let's go to dinner. We're just, we're just gonna go out. Yeah, we'll have a bite to eat. You guys hang out in the Corpusarium. Me and Steve Harvey are gonna go out for a nice little dinner. There he is. He's looking up at the scoreboard. Show me, boom! How big do you want these puppies to be? <laughs> oh, this is not good. Now I just have two Dagoth Ur's. One of them's laughing at the other one for being stuck. Where's that slave? 
I, not long ago. What? I, that's such, such a strange thing to say when company is over. Can you mind my boyfriends? Well, my ex-boyfriend, other ex-boyfriend, and current boyfriend. Can you mind their presence? Okay, we are mourning the loss of my ex-ex-ex-boyfriend. Gentlemen, we've suffered a great loss today. No, he's definitely coming back. <laughs> we'll find a way to get Dagother involved with this family again. There is no way I'm letting him go away. But while we mourn the loss of our friend for the time being, I think we should go get a bite to eat. It's just not the same adventuring without our beloved Dagoth. May he return to us someday, but until then we have more to accomplish, more people to meet, more lovers to add, and then later we'll get some family counseling because God knows we need it. Finally, oh, oh my God. Criminals should be dealt with harshly. Don't you I've think? heard of your I've crime. heard of your crime. You should watch your step. You should watch your step. You know what, Papa John? I've heard of your crimes as well. Uh, and let me tell you, okay? You don't get off scot free, Mr. Sweaty Forehead. Don't worry, Nakuma. Hold on. Uh Papa Papa John, do you mind if I change my baby real quick? I'll just throw her on top of one of the pizzas. <laughs> Finally, we get to sit down and have a family dinner. But you know what? I'm not going to lie. Papa John. He's looking kind of cute. Go to hell. <laughs> Steve Harvey, he could, I don't know if you guys could hear it, but he actually had his voice go to hell. <laughs> oh my god, yes. <laughs> he joined the team. We have a formidable, unstoppable army, especially once we return Dagoth Ur. Caius Cassades, Todd Howard, Steve Harvey, and the illustrious Papa John. <laughs> this is just so stupid. Yeah, I ain't dressing, I'm just fixing. Now to me, take a bear, you would fetch her. I ain't dressing, I'm just cooling. You a different type of bear, you a doomer. The vet worn cold like I am amazed that You got called a steer, you are brain dead. I'm rich and famous, I'm all about my paycheck. The vet worn cold like I am amazed that